Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to pick up um, not too far, uh, too long after we uh, left in the last episode. Actually, I have done a quite a bit of off-camera empire management, but I haven't done any uh, any action since the last episode. So I'm still sitting here in Brennan's Triumph uh, with my nemesis and my little squadron of fighters, and we're going to take off and start doing some missions for the Terrans and start getting rep up with them. We might pop into the ore belt too and see if we can pop some xenon because they do come into the ore belt, which will also help get us rep. Uh, but let's just kind of take a quick look at where we're at. Um, so I have... Stop it. I have um, set up all of my three-star traders with their new cormorants. Um, and I've kind of organized some stuff here. So basically... Uh, trader one, I, I put the trader's last name uh, with the trader just because I thought it'd be kind of a nice, nice touch um, since these are our, our uh, top end pilots so far. Um, so and then I named their fleet based upon where I have them trading. So ter trader one is is currently trading in Sagara space, but I'm going to move him into Terran space once we can get in there and start trading. Uh, and then I also renamed the fighters uh, T1, Fighter 0, T1, Fighter 1, etc. for Trader 1. Uh, just to kind of organize things and have a little more role-playing fun with it and so forth. Uh, so Trader 1 is currently trading in, in uh, Terran space. Um, I let the game run for about, I don't know, three hours uh, while I went out and, and did some things with my wife. When I came back, I looked at the logs and not a single one of these traders got harassed at all that whole time. Um, so I don't know if the game is smart enough to realize, oh wait, these guys were way tougher than they were before and they leave them alone or if it just was, you know, luck of the draw or whatever. So I have yet to see um, how any one of these traders will do in combat. But like I said, they've been running for about three hours or so um, and not, not harassed a single time. Um, unfortunately, I can't say the same thing for my miners, my station miners. Uh, I've lost several station miners and I'm only down to two. And so what I decided to do is I decided to purchase a couple of, of large miners and I decided to go with the crane just because of their toughness um, and their storage space and, you know, the, the usual Talati uh, stuff. A and also they have quite a bit of firepower too. So uh, the problem though that I'm having with the cranes at the moment is I'm, I'm looking for turret components and I am not finding any available so far. Um, there is a turret component factory here in Trinity Sanctum 3, and I have a freighter on the way there, and it will alert me when it gets there uh, because this is old information. So I'm hoping that it'll have the turret components for me to finish out the cranes and get them going on mining because, um, you know, we're, 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 we're not completely out, but we're, it's getting sparse. In fact, let's take a look at the station. Yeah, so we're completely out of silicon, but I do have one ship on the way back with a load of silicon. Um, the ice and the ore are, are okay, but the thing is, is we've got lots of refined metals, silicon wafers, and water here, so it's not like we're really actually hurting, as long as we can, you know, start filling these up fairly soon, um, so that doesn't get away from us. So, the station's doing very well. I am thinking about adding a turret component factory and an advanced electronic factory to the station just because those two things in particular seem to be the biggest pains in the butt to get whenever I want to you know buy new ships um, so that's probably coming up and I'm also and I mentioned this I think in the last episode or a couple episodes ago I think I'm gonna go ahead and spend the 10 mil uh, with each of the factions um, to to basically just get their station information uh, in oh there we go we just got some turret components there in fact Okay, so that's actually up there. And interestingly enough, I think it's 170 that I actually need. Um, let's double check that. If we go to buy ships, no, we need 188 turret components. Okay, um, so we need just a little bit more than that. Um, what I might do, though, is send a ship up there anyways, just because we know that there's actually some there now. Where is this at again? Oh, that is up in Silent Witness. Okay. 
Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we pull one of the station haulers that currently is not got anything else going on at the moment. Okay, you're on your way to, I guess, deliver some medical supplies. You're on. You're the one that's going to Trinity Sanctum. Uh, Haller Six is in memory of Prophet, which is kind of up in that area, and they're on their way to, I guess, buy something because they don't have anything in their hold. Hmm. I wonder why he's buying graphene when I got a bunch of graphene already at the factory. I guess uh, our manager must know what they're doing. So what I'm gonna do. What about seven? Seven's got something in, eight's got something, nine's got something. Zero is in Napoleos's fortune. Ready to trade. Okay, so our dude's there. Um. Seriously, so there's no turret components at all there. Wow, okay. Well, I guess what we'll do then is let's send this guy up to up to here and I'm gonna once again have him hold on a sec turret component factory hmm I don't know why it's not giving me the option to fly there and then contact me for a sale. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. I haven't figured out what, how that works. So I guess what we'll do instead is we'll just tell you to go purchase those turret components. Um, and then hopefully by the time he gets there, there will be a few more or at least maybe some somewhere else. Um, all right, so I think we're okay on that for the time being. And like I said, our traders are doing uh, really well. Except for you have a a failed order, maybe. That's probably just a, a, a police that stopped them. Okay. No, I guess um, he's doing okay for the moment. I'm just I'm just wondering why that's orange. Because usually when it's orange, it means they couldn't do something. Oh, right. Okay, no trades found in allowed sectors. Really? You couldn't find any of this in all of the boron sectors that you're in. I wonder... See, I've got them anchored in Windfall just so that... Or, I'm sorry, not Windfall, Watchful. Just so they can also pop over um, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and kind of get up into these sectors. But I wonder if it's having them in windfall is causing part of the problem. If I set him for barren shores, it's gonna limit how far he can go. He could still get up into this split sector. I don't think that's really the problem though because I've done this before and it seemed to work. So let's just, uh, let's just cancel that and we'll keep an eye on him and see how he does. Everybody else is doing quite well though. So I'm very happy about that. And we're just, like I said, waiting on these Sentinels. Oh, I also have a mission to go see the Cigaris uh, representative uh, because we have now hit 20 rep with them. And why don't we actually do that first since we're not very far away. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be in real good with, with Cigaris. Okay. So let's head over there first, and then we'll come back, go into Terran space, and see if we can do some missions for them. Hey, Steve Rick, we're happy that you've continued to work alongside us, and we wanted to reward you for your continued aid in these hard times. It is a real honor to present you with this rank, as a demonstration that we consider you to be one of us. Of course, we will also reward you with benefits. These benefits are linked to your rank, so they will be lost should you turn against us. But, given how you helped us out in the past, I do not see that being a real worry. I hope you find these rewards fitting to the work you've done, and that you are able to make the most of them. Oh, and expect some of our organizations to reach out to you for help in the near future. Once again, we really appreciate what you have done for us so far. We look forward to working with you more in the future. Good luck out there. Alright, hey, can you talk to your uh, Terran brothers and tell them I'm a good guy so I don't have to grind out the rep? No? Oh, that sucks. 
Okay, um, we already, did we buy the police license? Yeah, we did. Okay. Uh, I'm not, s I'm not necessarily going to get that from these guys yet. I mean, we probably will eventually. Probably not yet. Okay, before we take off again, let's, um. Hello there. Hello there. Are you? You're just being probably accosted by a, a cop. Yeah. All right, he'll be fine. Um, let's quickly check on these turret parts. Or turret components, rather. Um, they were up here, yeah. Yeah, so our ship is just about... Wait, what's he doing? Station hauler three. No, you got haul points. Who's who's the dude we sent up there for turret components? I <laughs> I can't remember now. Um, it was one of these guys. Haul parts. Turret components. It's five. Okay, so five's not there yet. Okay, so we'll, yeah, I have to remember that. It's it's five, so we'll check with five when he gets back. Are you, what are you doing? Oh, that's right, you're doing um, hull parts. Okay, let's take those back out of the filter because I don't need those on there. All right, I will meet you guys um, back in uh, Terran space, and we'll go do some missions for them and get some rep. All right, guys, uh, here's a quest that wants us to actually destroy... Any scale plate packed ship, which I would be very happy to do. Plus, we get uh, 446,000 for it. It's medium difficulty. Um, I don't know if that means, though, that we have to go all the way back to where they normally hang out, or if the, you know, if the mission will, you know, spawn some in for us to kill. Uh, but we're gonna accept this. Um, I knew I could count on and you. I also have uh, I took a mission yesterday for uh where was it Terran mission here um where they want us to go plant some mines at a gate and so i sent the nemesis back to sagara space to to grab some mines um and then once once he gets back here we'll we'll go get that knocked out and then we'll go figure out where to let's set this as the active one Hopefully the mission will. Oh my gosh, we got to go all the way up here. That's fine though because I also want to pop into ore belt or asteroid belt because, um, like I said, the xenon will show up here, and if we can pop some of those, that'll help with the rep as well. So they want us to go all the way back to Titan for that one. Um, this one, where is this one at? Set active. Okay, so that doesn't send us anywhere in particular. Then I have not seen any pirates at all in any of these sectors. The only sector I've seen any enemies in at all, again, is Asteroid Belt. Okay, well, we might have to shelf, th shelf this one for now then. Uh, because I am not flying all the way back up here just to find an SCA ship to blow up. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Where is our nemesis? It should be over here. Um, has it purchased the mines? Loadout. Deployables. Yes, it has. So it's got 10 uh, FFs, 10 trackers, and 10 normals. So let's have it um, rendezvous with us. I'm in my scout right now, and then we'll... We'll head up to Titan to do this mission, and, but I'm also going to keep my eyes peeled for other missions as we slowly work our way to the asteroid belt. So I'll bring you guys back here in just a little bit. All right, guys, uh, we got um, a mission here called Shakedown. It is easy. Fly to Terran, carbide mill, destroy criminal traffic. traffic. 
This has been Stark Increase Criminal Traffic on and around the station. We have been authorized to use lethal force to ward them off. Okay, that should be pretty easy. I knew I could count on you. And is that... Looks like that's here in this sector. So yeah, let's um... Let's go knock that out real quick. Okay, let's switch to our disintegrators. So we're not accidentally hitting the station. Let's fly around and... Wait until we hear the little alarm, and we'll pop them. Should be easy. Maintenance vessel. We can't take any more sleep. Yeah, shouldn't have been a criminal. Kind of makes me feel bad sometimes shooting. <laughs> They're like, no, save me. Have mercy. Sorry, can't do it. Maybe they were forced to do that by their boss. So we got to destroy a total of six. Okay. Just keep flying around and keep popping them. This is actually a good mission because... We're getting repped by for killing the criminals and Thanks for your help. Yeah, see like that? And also for doing the mission. We only really need to get to minus five with them and then I think we can start trading with them. Maintenance vessel. Criminal maintenance vessel. Kind of wait till they're out away from the station. Okay, two down, four to go. Legal wares on drone detected. Where? Maintenance vessel. Yeah, that one's gonna be. Let's be really careful. Oh no, nope, we're hitting the station. I think he's actually on the other side of the... There you are, you little rat. Okay. Three down, three to go. Transporter. Uh, where is he? There he is. Maintenance vessel. Maintenance vessel. Maintenance vessel. One more to go, and there it is right there. Maintenance vessel. I just went around the edge there. All right, nice. Uh, so we are now minus 13 with them. So we're, we're getting there. Let's take, takes a little while. Yes, indeed it does. All right, let's keep working our way towards the mine, um, Terran Economic Minefield. It's set to active, and, uh, I'll keep my eyes peeled for any more, um, missions that pop up. Thanks for your help. Oh, good. We got another rep, too, so now it's minus 12. Yeah, yes.
Oh my gosh, we got another minefield here. Um, alright, I'm gonna... We have to deal with that later. I'm not gonna do that right now. It's gonna take too long. So let's just keep going. I think we'll be fine if we just go straight through here. Famous last words. I wonder if the AI pilots, like, as in my traders, are smart enough to avoid those mines. If you guys let know if that's the case, let me know, because that takes forever to take those things out. It's a royal pain in the butt. Entering Saturn 1. Entering Titan. Alright, for some reason this crazy quest wants us to put a bunch of mines right in front of their own highway. <laughs> I don't know exactly why they do, but uh, that's the way they want it, so we'll put them there. Um, and then after we're done with the quests, we might pick them back up, but don't tell anybody. Oh, yikes, there's already mines here. This Terran space is dangerous. Crap. All right, well, the ones that are right in front of the gate, we're gonna remove those. Friend, foe mine. Just because I don't want to run into them. I don't want my other ships to run in to, into them either. Alright, so let's switch to this. We'll take these out first. Then we'll lay our own mines down. Okay, well, at least that clears the ones right in front of the exit gate. Okay, deploy seven mines. I'm going to do a quick, <laughs> a quick save just in case. I mean, what happens if I put a mine down and then a Terran ship comes through and gets blown up and I lose rep for it? I don't know. Okay, so let's go here, deploy military, and one mine. You're clean. Go about your business. Okay, don't watch while I lay down this mine, please. Okay. That's two out of seven. <laughs> We're laying down uh, mines right in front of the cops. You just scanned me. Yes. Go away. You can scan. Oh, I guess they're not talking about me. Go about your business. Okay, two more. How are these mines not blowing me up? Maybe they don't activate until I get away from them or something? There we go. We finished economic minefield. Uh, we are now, well, I guess we're, we're still at reputation minus 12, but we're working on it. Oh, there they are. I see them. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep, they're all right there. Okay, so can I... I can't click on them. To select them.
Okay, so that pings them. But it still doesn't give me the option to actually select them on the map so I can pick them back up. Or maybe you can't pick mines back up. Can you? It's not like a satellite where I can click on it and deactivate it and pick it up. All right, I guess those mines are... <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna stay there. Um, it's kind of dangerous, if you ask me. I wonder if there's some way we could blow them up and have them blow up in a chain reaction. It doesn't seem to be working. Okay, well, um, Station Hauler 4 is being harassed by pirates. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I want to see if there's any turret components now. Station Hauler 4. Oh. Okay, where's the bad guy? There he is. Guess what? We have, uh, we have these guys. Go get him. Go get him, tiger. What do you have in your old Claytronics? Yeah, that's a lot of money. Um, I think what I'm going to have you do is remove all orders. Ignore. And I want you just to go dock at the trading station until the threat is dealt with. Hopefully he can make it over there without getting destroyed. If these guys will just come straight at him and not derp around, I might even be able to kill him. Alright, hold on. Stop. Yeah, they're slowing down. Could be because the station's in the way, I suppose. Are they going to stop him? Yep. Nice. All right, take him out, guys. I wonder if this would give us credit for that SE... This is SEA, right? Yeah. Or do we have to kill him directly? Probably we have to kill him directly. You know what, though? Just in case. Um, let's go here and make this the active quest. Just just to see what happens. Please, we will be scanning your cargo. Okay. Killed him. Oh, we did get credit for it. Look at that. Oh, no, we have to, dis oh, we have to destroy 11 of them. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> that's one out of 11, done it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I just thought we only had to do one. Uh, all right, nice work, guys. Nice work, um, Beta Patrol. You guys are awesome. Let's go back to, yeah, back to here, grab you. And tell you to resume your duties. Very nice. That worked out quite well. Doesn't always work out that smoothly, but this time it did. Now, while we're here, oh, let's also put you back on global escape. Uh, while we're here, let's turn turret components back. Okay, good. We have some up here, and I went ahead and staged a dude up here because the first guy I told to come up here, for some reason, it got messed up. I don't know how or why, but it did. So you... Grab all of those. And I might... I, I need 183, I think it was. The other one here is in Trinity Sanctum 3. But apparently... 
I sent... Yeah, he's there, but uh, they're, they're not making him for some reason. They must be short on something. So I'm going to keep the other dude up here until the next cycle so we can grab the rest of them. And then we can get our miners going. Very good. Okay, so um, it is good to know, though, that we get credit for killing the SEA when it's when our ships do it, and we don't have to do it ourselves. That's the good news. Bad news is we have to kill 10 more. <laughs> so, all right. Um, we currently do not have any more missions with the Terrans. Um... So what I think we're going to do is we're going to fly up to Asteroid Belt and see if we can kill some Xenons. And again, along the way, if I notice any any uh, missions, we'll stop and grab those. However, um, I believe we are out of time in this episode, guys. So probably what we're going to do is um, I'm going to pick up right where we left off in the next episode and continue this on. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.